Hello and welcome to another Local Works Wednesday video from Double O Rail. Uh, this week in the Local Works we have some Mach 4 coaches and a Mach 4 DVT in for some enhancements. So um, I have a particular problem with a couple of the Mach 4 coaches that I have and they're due to these older wheel sets either uh, being uh, damaged or having too thick uh, a wheel flange, although in some cases they looked a little worn. Um, there was one set that I had that was supposedly brand new and the wheels did look like they hadn't been run before um, and the actual tooling or, or, or sort of uh, structure to the wheels were, were bent so when they went over the, uh, the, the point work and the guide rails on the points um, they actually tried to basically go over the, the guide rail instead of actually um, going through it properly and it turns out that the wheels weren't actually round uh, they were sort of uh, kind of wobbling uh, on the axle and it was due to the actual structure of the wheel being uh, not round so um, I looked out and I'd actually ordered uh, the 14.1 millimeter uh, diameter uh, wheel sets by mistake I, I ordered, uh, ordered these from Hattons a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't really paying attention when I was uh, adding stuff to the cart and I somehow managed to order the 14.1 instead of the 12.6 so when they got here I realized my mistake and it you know they you know I'd ordered about 25 pounds worth of wheel sets um, but it would have cost nearly that to mail them back so um, I just hung on to them and I ordered the 12.6 millimeter ones from Mall Railway Imports in Canada since I was uh, ordering some stuff from them anyway so um, what you're going to need uh, to upgrade the wheel sets are OR8218, uh, which you can see there. And these are 14.1 millimeter diameter metal disc wheel axle sets. Uh, they come in a pack of 10 axles. And so the um, way you'll do it is um, you know, you'll, you'll need eight for two coaches. So you'll get uh, two and a half coaches out of a pack. So uh, if you have uh, two packs, you can get uh, about ten. Sorry, about uh, five coaches. So um, I actually had enough here for uh, ten coaches. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and upgrade all of the Mach fours that I have. Uh, now they don't work for the uh, class ninety one that came with the uh, Inner City two two five set. I think the one I have is uh, BBC Radio One FM, maybe. Um, and so it's still using the 12.6 millimeter uh, wheel sets, um, but it's fine. It it doesn't have any problems. Um, now the other thing I'm going to do with the uh, DVT is um, this is uh, 82 uh, 2201, and it originally came with these uh, square uh, buffers. And if you look at the photos for uh, the DVTs, they actually have different types of buffers depending on which uh, photos you're looking at. So um, 82201 actually had uh, closer to the Mach 3 kind of rounder oval shaped buffers. Um, so what I did was I uh, took a set of uh, Mach 3 um, buffers that came with the newer Hornby sets uh, for the HST and obviously the HST Mach 3 coaches never had buffers. Um, so they were never installed on those coaches. So what I was able to do was uh, basically if I pop one off you can probably see um, I cut just about a millimeter or two off the end of the uh, buffer st stand there and it just pushes in quite nicely and you can see it uh, fits really really well and it looks exactly like the photos. So we will be doing other upgrades uh, to the DVT as well as the whole Mach 4 set but for today we're just going to go and uh, replace those buffers like I've already done and replace the wheel sets. So you can see here I've already replaced uh, the wheel sets with the new ones on the DVT and the process is, is pretty much the same. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually show you on the layout exactly what the problem is and then we'll come back and I'll do one set of this and then um, we'll show you the completed set, uh, the entire rake running on the layout.
Okay, so you can see there exactly what the problem is. If you watch the uh, front bogey here as it goes over uh, one end of the guide rails of the points, you can see it actually raises up off the track. Now what's interesting is not all of the uh, Mach 4 coaches uh, were doing this, uh, just uh, a couple of them. And you can see here this one's actually doing it on, on both bogeys. Now what's interesting is if you put enough weight on it, it doesn't actually uh, do it consistently as it does uh, like this, but you can see what will happen is over time if you go across it fast enough, it causes the bogey to pop, and of course with these tension lock couplings, uh, especially the older Hornby ones, it can actually cause it to uh, disconnect from the rest of the train, and if you're not paying attention, you could end up rear-ending your coaches, especially if you're running a loop like we are here. So, what's causing this problem? Well, it seems to be interesting, but if you look at the wheel as it goes around, uh, the ones that seem to have this problem um, appear to be slightly worn, and I don't know if they're just defective um, out of the box, or if they've been worn down over time, because this is quite an old um, set, it's from a inner city uh, 225 set. Um, but you can see there it's definitely hopping the guide rails and um, the reason it seems to be doing this is that the uh, wheel flange uh, is not perfectly straight and so it just, uh, it just does this. So what we decided to do was to go ahead and just replace all of the wheels with slightly better ones. So let's show you what we did. Okay, so here is a uh, another coach, uh, Mach 4, this one's a buffet. You can see it doesn't have this problem at all. And the reason it doesn't have the problem is uh, we replaced the wheels. Uh, so the wheel sets that are on here are the uh, 14, I think 0.1 millimeter uh, wheel set. And um, I came across this project completely by accident. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had ordered some stuff from Hattons, and I needed to order the 12.6 uh, uh, millimeter uh, wheel sets, and I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing, and I somehow managed to order uh, four sets of the 14.1 millimeter um, wheel sets instead. So when they got here, and I went to go um, pop them on the uh, LNER T coaches as well as some Mach 2E coaches uh, from Hornby's Railroad version, I discovered I had the wrong wheel sets. So um, then I kind of went out here uh, to the layout and sort of uh, looked around to see um, where I could possibly use them because I didn't really want to send um, them back to Hattons. Uh, it would be too expensive to mail them back. Um, but then I also had, you know, these things are about five pounds each. So I had about 20 pounds worth of uh, wheel sets that I didn't really need, so I figured uh, I needed to come up with a, a good use for them. And so it just so happened I was, uh, in that order I got from Hattons, I purchased some additional Mach 4 coaches, and I discovered that some of the ones that I had, plus one of the ones I got from Hattons, uh, actually had this uh, particular wheel problem. So I figured, uh, let's see if they fit, and uh, I was really lucky, and these uh, wheel sets happened to be the exact correct size to replace the ones on the Mach 4 coaches. Um, now a couple of them have holes in them which is probably not prototypical um, but you can't really see it. Um, as you can see here you can't really see the holes um, and when it's moving obviously uh, you can't see them either so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, so um, what I'm going to do in this video is uh, basically show you um, the process and what we did and if you have any of these Mach 4 coaches it is a, a very good update. Um, you can replace the wheel sets on the DVT on all the Mach 4 coaches, um, but I wouldn't recommend doing it on the uh, Class 91. It actually has a different size wheel. I think it's uh, the 12.6 millimeter ones. So um, what I'm going to do next is go over to Workbench and uh, give you a, a look at uh, how to do this, and then we'll show you uh, the full set with the updated wheels uh, running on the layout. So the uh, ones I'm going to be using today um, are actually the ones with a hole in them. They're uh, 
8264. Uh, now these aren't prototypical for the Mach 4 coach. However, I ordered a ton of these and they're this particular set of coaches are own things, these 14.1s that I have um, will fit in. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there. Uh, like I said in the previous part of the video, when you're looking at them on the layout, you can't really see the holes. And when things move in, you really can't see the holes. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and since this was an accidental project, uh, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. So to remove the uh, wheel sets is really, really simple. And what you do is you basically hold on to the uh, plastic bogey and you pull down on the wheel set and up on the bogey and it becomes separated. And then uh, you just have to sort of uh, wiggle it a little bit to remove it from the other side and it should. Sometimes it's a bit sticky and it should come out like so. And you're left with the old wheel set. So I usually take these and dump them into a uh, plastic container for use later and I'll show you this again since I think my fingers are in the way so you basically you're gonna um, pull down on this and uh, while pulling back on that so uh, if I pull back on that it pops right out like so and then you just pull back on the I'll try to do it on camera but you basically uh, if I can basically pull back on this uh, outer part of the bogey and it'll come out. Yeah. Find a better way to position it. Like so. And then installation is just as simple. Uh, there's a little hole um, where the kind of sharp pointy end of the uh, wheel set will go. So you drop that into the hole. Actually I found that if you sort of line them up like this first and then just sort of drop one end into the hole, like so. So you line them up, just pull it out. So that end lines up in the hole, and then do the same thing with the other side, and then they are in there. So I'll do the same thing with the other end, and I apologize if it's hard to see. Uh, I'm kind of looking at the camera. And so you just pull that back so it lines up into the hole, and then just pull that one out and just drops right in, very very simple. Like so. Alright, so I'm going to straighten it around and do the same thing to the other end. So, um, let's see if I can find a better way to do this on the camera, maybe if I do it this way. So, what you're going to do is just pull back on this end while pulling back on the axle itself and then you do the same thing on the other side. So just pull on the axle and pull this away and it should come out like so and so again just pull back on the axle and it pops out and then pull back on the bogey and it pops out as well and then uh, I'll show the installation as well that way since I think it was a slightly better camera angle And it doesn't take very long, you can see here I'm doing this in real time, so you just line them up like that, kind of uh, position it so that it goes into, like that. So just line, oops, line it up like that, chop it in, chop it in like that. Do the other one. Again, just line it up like so. Uh, pull back on the. Stuck. Yeah. So you're gonna line it up like so, and then. Uh, just pull back on the boogie just a little. And as soon as the plastic on this is some of it will give a lot better than the others. This one has been a little difficult. And there we go. 
Sometimes you have to approach it from one side rather than the other. Let's do it again. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, go and do this on the rest of them and then we'll show you it uh, running on the layout. Alright, so there you can see we have the uh, Class 91, uh, it's also the Pendolino, and uh, if you're looking at the background there, yes we did finally get around to sticking the ID vaccines up. Um, it's just blue tacked, which is why there's a big white line in between the two seams, uh, but you should hopefully in the next video I'll have that finished. So in the meantime, let's uh, take a look at this thing running around the layout. See here, this is the uh, set of points that were causing all sorts of problems before. Uh, so let's have a look what happens. Perfectly smooth. So I have quite a lot of locos sitting on the layout at the moment for various projects, but we'll uh, get a couple of shots of this thing running around.
right, so uh, that wraps up the uh, Mach 4 and DVT uh, LocoWorks Wednesday video. Uh, it wasn't a very difficult project, uh, it didn't take very long to do. Uh, it was a very cheap upgrade, it cost uh, about £15 for three packs of wheel sets. Those are the 14.1mm uh, wheel sets. Improved the overall running of the train. I think you can go a little bit faster now because there's less resistance uh, being produced by the coaches. Uh, I was able to upgrade, uh, like I said, six coaches along with the DVT, uh, so it was uh, pretty good going. And uh, it fixed the problem with it going over the points. Uh, you can see here, I've also been working on uh, some of the other stuff. We've got the back scene uh, kind of test in place, and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, so you'll see more of that in a couple of upcoming videos. Um, but that's it for tonight, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, until next time.